Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Traders, it's Anthony here. I'm about to show you a strategy, a trading strategy that could be an absolute game changer for you. You can treat this video as a tutorial. So what we do essentially is when this signal fires, it'll show up in the alerts log. I'll show you how to set up the uh, the alert for this. We wait for the next candle to form. As soon as this candle paints and the dot remains, this is then a valid setup, right? So we've set these up deliberately to repaint. We want to see the condition sticks when the next candle fires. So candle after confirms the dot. We take a short and we, we set up a pending sell order around midway through this wick. Stop loss goes slightly above the dots. This is our cloud. And we're just going to go for a one to one. There it is. One to one risk reward. And we're going to close our trade at one to one. So what we're doing is we're using the cloud for our stop loss level. So we'll continue on. Okay, notice something here. Notice the dots, the level, where our stop loss is and where the market traded to. In most cases, that's going to work out in our favor. Now you've got the option to close some of your position and trail the rest, but in this video, we're just gonna go with a straight one-to-one -one risk reward and we close here. Let me show you how easy and how profitable or potentially profitable this is. And I will mention that when we go through the uh, these instruments, these currency pairs and what have you, some charts will work better than others. Okay, so we'll just go with the euro dollar. I've marked it up as a favorite because I've already done this and I've had a pretty good win rate. So let's just see how this works and I'll, I'll show you how to use this strategy. It's a five minute chart. Okay, so we just wait for the next signal. Notice the white candles. Generally, a dot after we see a range, the white candles is telling us that this is a balance area. A dot after we see a balance area is generally going to be a pretty good signal. In any case, we'll keep going. All right, there's a dot. So balance area, the first move out is a stop run. There's our signal. Now remember we're coming in after the first candle fires or as soon as it paints, we know that this is going to stick. We set up our pending sell. Now this has moved. It's a five minute chart. We get plenty of time. So we're back on this candle here. This is when we set up our pending sell midway through the dot and the candle body. There it is. Now here's the thing. We don't have dots above. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to grab this price range tool. That'll do. It'll help us measure. And we look left, we pick up the, the width of the cloud. We pick up the width of the cloud and we go a little bit beyond. That's it. Right, that is our stop loss right there. It's, it's quite precise. And then we pull this down to one to one risk reward. There it is right there. Okay, so you can see the ratio here. Given that, you know, we're still kind of back here, we don't know what's ahead, okay? So we'll just pretend that doesn't exist. But uh, you can see that it looks like target one was reached here. And if it missed by a pip, let's just keep playing uh, the, uh, the chart forward. Okay, our second successful trade. All right, so we'll just keep running this. All right, stop it there. The replay's a little bit fast and it's getting ahead of me, but here we go. Okay, the dot. The next candle starts to paint. As soon as this candle starts to paint, we set up our pending order. As soon as it paints, bullish candle, it opened here. As soon as this opened at that level, we come in and we set up a pending sell order midway through this candle wick. There's our entry. We've got dots above, so we go slightly above the dots, and we're going to go one to one. That's it. Play it forward. We've got a touch. Another successful trade. One to one risk reward. This is set and forget, guys. Three out of three. Another dot. Halfway 
you would have most likely got a fill here. If not, it would have happened here. Now, we don't have any dots under, so here's the thing. There's our candle. We're going to go about halfway, set our position. Okay, so let's call it a fill over here. In this case, same as before, what we do is we look left and we're going to go the width of the cloud. The width of the cloud for our stop loss. Okay, so what we do is we grab the uh, price range, if you like. There's the candle, left. All right, so you can see between here and here. That's the width of the cloud, left of the candle. That's it there. Pull it across. If that's our entry, that's our stop loss. Exactly. Or you can go a little bit further, actually. We're going a little bit wider than the width of the cloud. Okay, so we go that little bit extra. And then we set our target at one to one risk reward. There it is. There's our target right there. Okay, let's see how we go. Now, four trades. This is our fourth, fourth trade now. Okay, four out of four. Here's another trade setup. It's a valid signal. We set up around about midway from the dot down to the candle body. We get a fill here. Again, we're going to look at the cloud. So we don't have a cloud above. So we're going to look at the cloud left of the signal. We measure from the bottom of the cloud up. Go that little bit extra. That's your stop loss range. There's your stop loss right there. Okay, this is really precise, guys. One to one risk reward. That's your target one. Well, you're going to close your position if this trades in our favor. I like how this is rolling over at the moment. So if you have a look at this price action, this is the kind of setup you want to get involved with, right? I've talked about this in my, uh, in my videos uh, with my uh, VIP group. When we see the market, this balance area, see how, these, see how we have these white candles here where there's a balance of buy and sell. So when we have these these ranges quite often you're going to see well more often than not you're going to see a break to one side of it and then a break to the other all right this is enticing short traders in sets up liquidity above the range and then smart money then pushes it up takes out buy side liquidity all right so our indicators are going to give us when when we see these ranges are going to give us the extreme low and the high, generally, generally. All right, and this looks like it's going to be looking to possibly roll over. I could be wrong, but we don't need to worry about any technical analysis. I'm just raving on here about a rant about what I'm seeing in, in the chart here. But let, let's just see how it plays out and uh, we'll work it out there. Okay, this is interesting. Watch this. See where our stop loss is. Look at that, guys. Look at the spike up. So this is the range, balance area, fake out. It sets up liquidity above. Then they take it up into here. They, they take out these stops. And then what happens? They trade it down. So, I mean, if you see this setup, you could take 70% of your position off at T1 here and then trail the rest 30% running and see what you get out of it. So let's just see how this turned out. We haven't uh, hit T1 yet. All right, there's our T1 there. Is it five out of five? It's not a bad win rate, guys. You can see how successful this is. No technical analysis, just stick to the strategy. Maybe in this case, we take 70 and we, we trail the rest. But by the time you've taken profit here, then you pull this down and you're in the money already. It's a profitable trade. If the stop loss gets taken out, you're in the money. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so it's ranging again. Look, looks like it might be... Shifting gears, who knows? We'll see what happens. We're going to see a spike either above or below this range. See the white candles? There's Oh, there's a signal. No, it didn't stick. See that? So we ignore it. Okay, we wait for the signal and uh, we want to see it stick. So this range is building liquidity above and below. And we're waiting for the spike and our indicator will give us the alert. There it is. I'll hold it there. All right, there's a short. Right, what we didn't see, we didn't actually see it spike up into this uh, area above the range. Now, well, it's given us this, so we take it. There's our signal. We get a fill about there. Now, there's, there's nothing above it, so we're going to measure. We look where the signal is. We take the range of the cloud plus a little bit more. That's our stop loss, regardless. We do that. 
if it gets taken out, it doesn't matter. And by the way, here's the thing with this. You're going in every one of these trades. My position size is 0.6 of my account. Four or five maximum per session gives me a, an overall exposure of 2 to 2.5%. Okay, 0.6%. So you, your risk is the same regardless. No matter what you're trading, no matter the distance of your stop loss range, 0.6, the risk is consistent. That's important, especially if you're trading a prop firm account. Well, any account for that matter. So let's just see how this one turned out. What have we got? Keep count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is trade six. TP reached. And then we've got another entry, long. So let's just squeeze that up. This is six out of six. I'm hoping for about a 90% win rate with this. And this is what I'm saying. Where the risk is consistent, then 50% win rate and you break even more or less. Okay, so if you're getting a 90% win rate, you're building an account with this strategy. And all you need to do is have a look at these, go back, have a look at these signals on the five-minute chart and see how they stack up. And if you're going to get 90%, you mark it as a favorite and then you set your uh, alert on that. And that's it. Some of these will be better than others. It just depends on generally, you know, how they're, they're, um, the charts sort of shape up. I cut the video short here and it worked out 19 out of 20 on the five minute chart looking at the euro dollar. Anyway, I mean, that gives you a bit of an idea of uh, how successful this is with the euro dollar on a five minute chart. Over in the alerts, I've set up the euro dollar here and it's just a matter of going to this trend channel, click three dots. This is what will come up, add the alert and you're gonna choose extended go once per bar so it's permanent notifications i'm okay with just playing some sound pop-ups can get a little bit busy no, that's about it i like the hand bell because it's uh, fairly quiet but these will show up in the alerts log i'm redoing the alerts so that's why that you don't see any in here at the moment they'll show up in the alerts log take the trade as soon as it fires wait for the the next candle as i mentioned to paint it's a five minute chart so it's going to paint very quickly and if the dot sticks, set and forget. You don't have to watch it. Okay, guys, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading, and I look forward to seeing you in our Telegram VIP group.